In the animal kingdom, there are remarkable builders, from towering anthills to the intricate web spun by spiders. These architects of the natural world showcase a hidden skill that is as fascinating as it is essential to their survival. Beneath the surface of South Carolina's streams lies one of nature's most overlooked engineers, the caddisfly. As intricate and impressive as they appear, these aquatic artisans are also an integral component to their ecosystems. By breaking down plant and animal debris, they provide essential ecosystem services by removing excess waste products and nutrients that otherwise would negatively impact water quality and human health. Researchers gain invaluable insights into the state of our precious freshwater ecosystems by observing their presence, and even local artists have been inspired by their creations in the wild. Caddisflies, which belong to the insect order Trichoptera, have been on Earth for at least 175 million years. These ancient builders have seen the rise and fall of ecosystems, adapting and evolving into over 16,000 known species spread across the globe today. These organisms are more than indicators of water quality. They serve as key players in freshwater food webs. As larvae, they play a crucial role in nutrient cycling by breaking down organic materials, also known as detritus, and making them available to other organisms. Additionally, they help stabilize gravel beds with their case-building activities, which can prevent sediment erosion. After hatching from eggs, caddisfly larvae develop in stages known as instars. Most caddisflies go through five instars, each accompanied by a molt. It's during the larval period of the caddisfly's life history that they exhibit their remarkable building skills. Caddisfly larvae construct their cases by using silk produced from glands in their mouth to bind together materials they find in their environment, such as small pebbles, plant debris, and sand grains. This silk acts like glue, allowing them to build portable cases that provide protection from predators, while also serving as natural camouflage. As they approach larval maturity, the larvae prepare to enter the pupal stage, or a stage of rapid development where the insect develops wings and undergoes changes to live on land. To prepare for pupation, the larvae either construct a new stationary shelter or modify their existing case, spinning a cocoon inside where they will undergo their transformation to adulthood. Once fully developed, the pupa swims to the water's surface or crawls onto land where it quickly sheds its pupal skin and takes flight as an adult insect. Adult caddisflies are usually nocturnal and are rarely seen by the casual observer. They feed on sugary liquids like nectar, which sustains them during their brief adult phase, lasting only a few weeks. During this time, they mate and lay between 30 to 1,000 eggs, ensuring the continuation of their species. Scientists use caddisflies and other aquatic insects as bioindicators, meaning their presence and diversity reflect the quality of the water. Species that are highly sensitive to pollution are only found in clean, unpolluted waters, while species more tolerant of pollution can survive in less pristine conditions. By examining these patterns, 
researchers track environmental changes and assess the impact of human activities on water quality. To study adult caddisflies, entomologists Drs. John Morse and Matthew Green from Clemson University and North Carolina Department of Environmental Quality use bucket traps fitted with lights to capture them, or hang a bedsheet illuminated from behind, a technique known as light trapping. These methods enable scientists to collect adult specimens for closer examination, providing insights into species distribution and more in-depth study. While scientists study caddisflies for ecological importance, artisans like Kathy Stout find beauty in their unique case-building abilities. Kathy, through her company Wildscape Inc., provides caddisfly larvae with jewels such as rubies, sapphires, turquoise, gold, and amber to incorporate into their cases. Once the larvae pupate and fly away, they leave behind these intricately designed cases. Kathy carefully fills the empty cases with epoxy, using a syringe to preserve their delicate structures, transforming them into stunning pieces of jewelry. Earrings, necklaces, and bracelets crafted from caddisfly cases serve as wearable reminders of the intricate relationship between nature and human creativity. For over 35 years, Kathy has been perfecting this art, celebrating the beauty and ingenuity of these remarkable and wild insects.